Okay, um, this plan is actually a 2401. It's really similar to that 2409 plan that I sent you. I'll point out the differences. So you come in the entry here, and you've got what could be either a study or a bedroom, because it does have a closet. Um, we can leave off these French doors, um, just making that a true bedroom here, which we do actually on the 2409 plan. This would, These French doors would not be here. And then you come into the living area. So there would be a fireplace here. We can also do lower cabinets underneath those floating shelves. And then you've got a really big patio with a fireplace. And it is open to the kitchen area. So you'd have this island. And then the uh, separate cooktop and wall oven. The, uh, the glass doors on these cabinets are one of the upgrades in this house. And then uh, this is a quartz countertop, so we would have a, a granite that would be standard, level one granite. <clears throat> Subway tile is standard for a backsplash. And then, so here's one of the differences in this house. This one actually has a powder bath, which can be added to that other plan too. Um, the, the, you'll see on the plan, the mud bench is just kind of pushed against this wall here, which makes the pantry bigger on the other side. And then you've got your nook area. You get a good sized table in there. And this is the laundry. We would normally do a countertop in here. Um, you'd have granite standard and then an upper cabinet as well. There's a little window in there. And then pantry. So this pantry would be bigger on that 2409 plan. And then you come through here and the master is on one side and the other bedrooms on the other. So this is the master bedroom. Master bath. So a garden style tub would be standard that we can, you can upgrade to a freestanding. We do framed mirrors in all of the bathrooms, standard. Granite standard in the master. So this one that's a good size shower. You can make adjustments to the shower too to make it a little bigger and make it doorless. And this is the other vanity. And then you've got a separate toilet room there. And then a nice size closet in here. So we always do two of these shelves. Standard, there's one on this side. I'm just gonna pause to get to the other side of the house. Okay, we're back over here by the fireplace. So on the other side, you have the three bedrooms. And this one has a really good closet to walk in. So it's pretty deep. And we could do shelving in there too. And then there's Another bedroom here. So there's two bedrooms in the front of the house. And these do have the double door closets. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. You've got a linen closet in the hall. And then, so this is that other bedroom that you can do study doors or just uh, leave that enclosed, make a true bedroom. And then this is the secondary bath. So it's gonna be a tub shower combo. You can do just a shower if you prefer that. And then you've got double sinks. And again, the framed mirror. So that is what you're looking at. Now this one does have a cathedral. To do an upstairs, we would you would have to have more of a flat ceiling. And you could still do a tray, like a 10 foot ceiling with a tray to 11 feet. It would make it feel bigger. Um, or we could look at putting a game room either over the garage. It's just gonna be harder to do the stairs on that side of the house, but We've also had people just instead of windows here, you have double doors and you could do a game room on the first level out through there too. So that gives you some options. Let me know if you have any questions.